At an event like the Toronto International Snowmobile, ATV and Power Sports Show, it's a great place to go check out all the cool new snowmobiles or maybe need accessories or discover a new place to go ride your toy at. Behind me, we're going to catch up with John Breckenridge of the Algoma Snow Plan to talk about a trip the SDV crew took up there last year. Hey John, how's it going? In Algoma, the center of it would be, say, Sault Ste. Marie, but it goes as far east as Spanish, Blind River, Elliott Lake, Echo Bay, St. Joe's Island, Bruce Mines, and then when you head north, you have Chaplo, Wawa, Dubreville, Marathon, Manitowoc. So through our district, we groomed uh, around 2,200 kilometers of trail. So that's a big stretch for our 15 groomers. So you'll be riding a little bit of everything, like uh, a lot of the trails are tight, twisty corners. Then you'll get into some open country, you'll run a few, little bit of power line, you'll run a little bit of gas line. So you get some open country and then you get some tight corners as well. But that is one of the major draws. Everybody likes to do a major loop, so they want to start out someplace and end up back and definitely not ride a lot of the same trails the whole time. So uh, it's always recommended. You know, everybody loves doing it. Uh, riding up to Wawa, you connect up to District 14, up to Hearst, uh, Cochrane, down through Timmins, and you come back through Chaplow and back through to the Sioux again. So it's a thousand mile ride. It's done in four days normally. You can do it quicker if you want, but it's a long run. So last season we rode from uh, Sault Ste. Marie up to uh, Halfway Haven and we rode a little bit of everything there and we had a little bit of fun back and forth but uh, and then we went from there, we went uh, up to Wawa. So Halfway Haven last year when we rode was up, they were open, everything was great. Um, unfortunately they had a few circumstances. I would recommend everybody still come and, and enjoy the ride. It is going to put a little bit more stress on some of the people, but what we're telling everybody is carry fuel. We are going to have new signage made for the trailheads at each uh, major location, letting everybody know how the distance is and that they should be carrying fuel because they're not going to make it complete through the trail system. So, But the trails are going to be groomed, as they always are, in excellent shape. So come on up and enjoy the ride. This is one of our warm-up shacks on the trail. Uh, it's also a safety shack, obviously. It has a fire in it, uh, an ax. There's a few provisions in there. There's also a emergency radio system that contacts dispatch and they can deploy whoever you need for uh, emergency situations. Algoma country is a region I've been to on multiple occasions, riding from the Sioux up to Wawa and beyond to towns like Duberville. And this is an area of Ontario I always enjoy, both in the winter and in the summer. Now it is a bit of a drive for some of us to get there, but what this region gives back to you makes the trip here worth it every time. The snowmobile trails in Algoma are some of the best in Ontario with a very remote feel to them and are kind of divided into two main areas. One in the south of the region, around Sault Ste. Marie, and the other in the north, around Wawa, extending even more north up the east shores of Lake Superior. If you wanted to stay and play a little closer to the Sioux, there's a bunch of day loops to choose from. 
The Sioux Highlands Loop in particular is one of the newer rides that'll wind your way through 169 kilometers of entertaining trails cut through the Algoma Highlands next to Lake Superior. This loop also offers an excellent place to stop at the Search Mount Ski Resort for an easy lunch before heading back to Sault Ste. Marie just in time for an evening out at one of the Sioux's many restaurants. Snowmobiling is a big part of the communities here and not just for us tourists. There is a passionate group of local people who ride and work exceptionally hard to build a system that's not only built for them, but for us visitors as well. Now this has built a system that links many of the unique small towns together where service can always be found with a smile. What I've discovered traveling to this area are people who are always happy to see a new face and engage with riders who choose Algoma country as their playground. Everywhere you'll go, you'll get that special welcoming feeling you really only get when you arrive to an area on a snowmobile. This winter, if you're looking for a new riding area or maybe one you haven't been to in a while, you really should be putting Algoma Country on your short list of destinations to ride in.